Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 15th through the 21st. We're just going to see what comes up. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is fluid. So, what do we have for Libra? Bear, danger, especially in money matters. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So this, I feel like a lot of, for a lot of you, this has to do with your job, okay? Or it has to do with money that you make from a job. There is some, or somebody that you're dealing with, there is danger, there's money issues, there's money problems. You really should be saving right now. Don't spend your money. Save it for a rainy day or for when you need it. I feel like you are feeling frustrated over a business situation. Um, you need to be careful. You are becoming wiser, okay? Maybe you need to slow down a little bit, move it at a slower pace. Um, I do believe that uh, you need to be... Uh, weary, you know, in regards to money this week. D just be careful with your money. Um, for some of you, there could be, uh, you know, hopefully you don't lose a job. I mean, hopefully that's not the case or you don't get the job that you applied for. I don't know if that's the case or not. Or there's just money issues where money isn't coming in the way that it typically is. Um, but this, this elephant, this is a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Uh, everything happens for a reason, even if it is in your, you know, financial arena. This is, you're gaining some sort of wisdom during this time. If you're struggling financially, there's a, there's a reason for that. Maybe, maybe you need to learn to uh, go without. I mean, and I hate to say that because who likes to go without? I mean, nobody does. You know, um, maybe you need to choose your your purchases wisely, you know, or maybe you need to spend more time with your family and not, you know, out spending money, or maybe it's, it's not about the things, it's about time, something like that. Um, anyhow, it could, something to do with your finances this week is affecting you in a big way, and you need to take a new approach, and yeah, so what do we have for Libra? The devil, ten of coins, which is money. So this is materialism, and, I, and I'm not saying that to be mean, and I know people get triggered really easy. The Hierophant, interesting. So this is, this is devil versus God. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Taurus, but this is a lack of commitment. Um social pressure. We have somebody here that is having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. This is like a disgraced. Somebody is being controlled by society. That's what's going on here. Now the Ten of Coins is about abundance, financial success, financial abundance, but this is an unhealthy behavior. This is materialism. It is greed. And I'm not saying that to be mean. So you really need to focus on, you know, your finances and your money. And, you know, there's more to life than what you, what you have. Somebody is having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. And it may be somebody that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with somebody that is struggling. They're attached to something because of money. Maybe it's, it's not you. You know what I mean? It may not be you. This, is, this could be somebody that is marrying for money. That has married for money because, you know, it looks good. The devil is ruled for the sh by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. It's false. 
okay? It's a disguise. Somebody is wearing a disguise. They may have married into money or they're in a situation just for the money. This could even be a job. I mean, the hero font reversed is um, doing the opposite of what is really needed, what, it, what, what the higher power wants you to do. It's like, it's like the devil whispering in one ear and an angel whispering in the other. Go for it. Do it even though you know it's not healthy, even though you know you don't need it. But it looks good. And, and, the, and God or whatever on the other side, no, you don't need that. Anyhow, this is, we also have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. But somebody can't break free. They can't break free right now. They're tied to it. Somebody is tied to a situation because of social pressure. Five of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Page of Swords. So I feel like this week there is some sort of uh, dilemma. We have a power struggle here. We have a conflict. Five, five, that's conflict. It's change. A change is needed. There is probably going to be a mild conflict this week or some sort of conflict that doesn't make you happy. I feel like I feel like you need to um There's a lack of advice as well. It's like I'm not listening to God, not listening to any advice. Um somebody is in their shadow. They're they're tied to something that there's no reciprocation, right? There's, there's no emotional fulfillment. And they're missing an opportunity for emotional fulfillment. And they're going back and forth, you know, competing. There's strong competition here. Somebody is competing. It's almost like competing with the Joneses, you know, competing with the neighbors, competing with the town, competing with, you know, the people at work. There's a strong competition here. There could be grieving over a loss, may have something to do with money, you know, maybe it's a money, maybe, maybe it has to do with a father, it could have to do with a father because the hero font is a father, it could have to do with a job, um, a position, a loss of a position. Somebody is going to be receiving some news that I feel like it puts them on edge. We have a very unhealthy situation here. Somebody has been unable to break free from this situation. But I feel like this week, I feel like this week there's there's some sort of with that 5 of wands is is in that 5 of cups is like I don't know if there's a separation. It feels like there's going to be a separation. There could be news of legalities as well. We may have somebody here that's been breaking the rules, breaking the law. Not telling the truth. There's some sort of truth that could come out this week. And this truth could really put you in your feelings with the Five of Cups. This is a loss. I do think there's anger as well. We have somebody here that is angry. They're angry over a loss. They're angry. And, and maybe it was something that, well, obviously it was like socially acceptable. But it wasn't what the higher power wanted. Anyway, I think there's going to be a conflict this week. I do. I think there's going to be a conflict. I think. I think that... Um, 
there's a change that is needed. And I think it's a major change. Maybe it's a major change in consciousness. I mean, that hair font reversed is disturbing. That is being controlled by, you know, a father figure or somebody that is questioning their authority. This is somebody that isn't very spiritual. There is, there's some poor counsel here as well. Somebody has received some poor advice, maybe to fight, you know, to fight or to argue, or they just weren't listening to the higher power. There's, there's some sort of argument here. And I feel like it's over money or there's a marriage for money or something like that. Or somebody has made a commitment just for the money and it needs to end. I do think we have the end of a, of a commitment here, whether it's with a job or it's a person that you've been dealing with. I feel like this commitment is over. It's unhealthy. It's toxic. Somebody needs to break free. They do. This is very unhealthy. It's unhealthy behavior. I feel like there's a message that is coming and it's not what you want to hear. Oh my goodness. I was saying it looking at this card. And then we get this one. That's bad news, okay? This is, um, you know, there's this is an unrequited love situation. Uh, somebody has gotten themselves into a situation just for the money. Or just for the financial success. This is a rejection. There's there, there could there's there's insincerity here. We have somebody here that is obsessed with image. They're obsessed with how things look. And there's unrequited love and there's somebody's about to get their bubble burst. Ten of cups. Now tens are completions. I know a lot of people don't they don't mention it. You know, they automatically go to the, the fantasy part of it. Oh, that's that's happily ever after. And it is after a completion, after an ending. So we do have a completion of something here. And, and, and I think it's been a serious battle. There's been a strong competition. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of pettiness. Somebody was having a hard time. I feel like it's all coming to an end. There may be even some family drama here. There's drama. There is drama with that five of wands. There's drama. And there's grieving over a loss of emotional content. We have this. I feel like there's going to be some tears shed this week as, you know, a relationship comes to an end. But this leads to emotional fulfillment. It does. But we have somebody here that has been unable to let go of a relationship. They have. They've been unable to let go of a relationship because at one time it was abundant. At one time it was stable. It looks so good to the outside world. I do believe that there's going to be some sort of argument this week or some sort of fight that, that I don't know if it just like ends at all. There is a message that is coming that is going to uh, make somebody feel at a loss. It's like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened, you know? This, this uh, separation, and I do feel like it's a separation leads to emotional fulfillment. It leads to abundance. It leads to stability. Why is this happening? Why? I do believe that there is a tower moment. There is a tower moment. Somebody's going to be asking why. Why is this happening?
I there you know I don't know if this has to do with a child or a job or a marriage this is this is this is a breakdown of some sort and I'm sorry to say that somebody has held on to something that is dark okay you think about the very first card is the devil that is it looks good but it's it's not healthy it's self-indulgence it's obsession it's greed it's ego so anyway i do feel like this week there's a need to listen to advice there's a need to listen to your gut there's an i think that we have a broken marriage here or a broken commitment Somebody is has been uh, it feels like it feels like lying. It's almost like lying to themselves about a commitment. Or a relationship. And this is seeing the truth and receiving clarity. You're gonna receive a message this week or some news that you know makes you see something it is you're gonna see something and i and it has to it has to do with a foundation that was built on false pretenses on money it was built on financial stability something to do with a father figure perhaps or somebody that's in a position of authority Whatever this news is, I feel like it's sad news, and I'm sorry. Sad, sad news. I know people don't want to hear the truth, right? Because they're not, some, some people aren't very spiritual. It's interesting because before I started this reading, I was thinking about, you know, how people don't want to see the truth. They only want to hear the positive because I've gotten some comments. Why can't, why can't you give us the positive? Because that's not reality, You only want to hear the positive? Wake up without seeing the darkness. You can't see the light. If there was if there was never any darkness, you, we wouldn't know the difference. We have somebody here that is in their ego, very materialistic, holding on to a commitment for all the wrong reasons because it looks good. And this commitment may be a job or it may be a relationship or whatever. I feel like this relationship, there's going to be a fight. There's going to be an argument with this relationship, whatever, however it resonates with you, that causes emotional turmoil. It may make you cry. It may make you angry. It may make you upset. And you may say to yourself, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Because it's not for your highest good. So I do believe there's going to be a challenging conversation this week. There could be some legal matters that come up. We may have some issues with a father or somebody that is in a position of authority. Definitely may have something to do with a father. Maybe there's been an abuse of, of power. I mean... I do believe that um, somebody is going to do something. There is a judgment call that is going to be made based on some truth, based on some facts. There could be a cut. You know, somebody's being cut. They're being cut out. So anyway, Libra, I feel like this is a week where somebody has to do something even though it's not easy. So there's going to be a decision that is made this week. 
that it doesn't, I don't think it makes you happy. I'm sorry. I don't think it makes you happy in the moment. But in the end, it does. I feel like there's there's been a, this is if you get fives fives are power struggles. Somebody has been struggling with society, right? What what everybody else has to say. I do believe that this week there's going to be a change. <clears throat> fives are about changes. Somebody has their heart set on a person that is literally emotionally unavailable and it, it's almost like they're trying to get this person to love them it's not compatible this is this is not what you were wishing for right it's not what you were hoping for but it's a fact it's the truth Okay, this is the truth. This is the truth. I do believe you're going to receive a message that uh, doesn't make you happy. And it has to do with uh, money or it has to do with a father figure or it has to do with um, a toxic situation that you have tied yourself to, that you have been bound to. Maybe it's because of pride or ego. Now, this is disgraced. Over a relationship. There, there could be even some sort of disgrace. You know, public disgrace over a relationship. Public embarrassment. Anyway, I feel as though this week you're going to receive a message. And I think it's a message that you don't want to hear. And it may, I don't know if it has to do with... A boss or a father or a husband or um, a partnership that just, there's too much competition, there's too much fighting, there's too much pettiness. And somebody's been focusing on that for a long time when there's another opportunity that they have been missing. But it looks good, right? This week there's going to be a conflict in that relationship. Somebody has been avoiding, because what comes before the star, the tower, they've been avoiding disruption, they've been avoiding, you know, moving. But I don't think you can avoid it anymore. I don't think you can. I think you're going to be receiving some challenging information that, and I feel like it's force. The devil is force forces you to um, accept. It's like forces you to accept the truth. There is a rejection here as well with the Page of Cups. Somebody is being rejected. They could be being let go. There's infatuation. Somebody has been infatuated with a relationship where, you know, there's no reciprocation. There's no commitment. There's no getting together with this, this prolonged grief. But, you know, they may have been sold a fantasy with that devil card. You need to find your strength to break free from an unhealthy situation. I feel like there's depleted. I feel like you're depleted. I feel like uh, there's depression here with the star card reverse and a lot of tears with the page of cups. You may be experiencing some tears as some sort of truth is, is accepted or seen that has been ignored. Somebody's been ignoring the truth. Anyhow, I do think that we have a relationship that has been built on financial security or something like that that is coming to an end.
If it's not coming to an end, there's going to be a challenging conversation that is had in regards to this relationship. I don't feel like it's good news and I'm sorry. You're probably going to have to make a judgment call this week. It may have to do with somebody that you're dealing with. Maybe somebody that you're dealing with is in another relationship. Either way, we have the end of a toxic situation. We have the end of a, these two are mirroring each other. We have the end of a toxic relationship, whatever it's who it's with, that is going to put you in your feelings. This is like a breakup. It is a breakup. It's a separation, it is. I do believe that there is a separation here. Somebody has abused their power and they've, they've got themselves into some sort of commitment that they're in it for all the wrong reasons. It's not love. Is there going to be a split? That's the way I feel. Whether it's with a job or a partnership or whatever. I feel like there is some sort of truth that is coming out this week. Good luck.